Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Monday. Hope everybody enjoyed their weekend. Ready to start a new week. Good to see you all. Good to see you, Tim. Good morning, Grant. Good to see you. Nice to see you back, Grant. Hope everything's going well. Wayne, Deb, good to see you all. Steve. All right. Hola, Susie. There you go. Kathy, Kathleen. All right, guys. So let's get back to uh, new day, new week. Um, tell you the truth, I think I'm not going to expect it to be an exciting one. I think everybody knows what's coming up in the following week. Earnings is starting to come around around the corner. So, um, I mean, listen, I've been shopping around this morning. It's kind of quiet. So, but there were a couple of things. I mean, hey, listen, we only need one. You know, that's all we really need to make a day's pay. Uh, we did pretty well so far this morning. And if you were here early and you got the new bev, we'll check that out. But, uh, but remember, it is Monday. We know how to trade on Mondays. And we got a lot of new people are starting today. So let's all welcome all our new members that are starting on a Monday. You'll see how it works over the week. You know, very important you hear um, every day to see the difference of days, how some days are better than others. But most importantly, make sure you talk to your education advisor, watch those videos, know the lingo. And please keep in mind, this is a trading room, not a teaching room. If you want to know how we do it, just watch the traders. Extra education advisor, and I'll tell you exactly if this is for you or not. Because always remember, I always say this. I know everybody wants to trade. doesn't mean you should. And the only way you're going to know it is to see if other people could do it. Now, uh, going what's on, let's see what's happening this morning and uh, see what happened on Friday. A couple of stocks. Um, I just want to start off with AMD. AMD was a, a really nice pop. It was a, lot, it was a fun stock to trade. Uh, the last couple of days, but then on Friday it was actually a great short. Market went from it went from a twenty nine seventy all the way down to twenty nine. You know, you could see it literally in thirty minutes. Nice little day's pay right there. And then the Snapchat, check this out, man. This thing's been a fun stock uh, since the beginning of the year. It's been an actual great stock as a swing trade. Last couple of days have been great, but you know, just keep in mind. Remember when we trade these stocks. If you look how the trends on the following day will let you know how to trade it during the day because a lot of them just die, you know? And, you know, Snapchat, you could see, you know, from 12 o'clock all the way to about 4 o'clock, it really didn't do anything. It, like, was watching almost like, you know, grass grow. So, you know, but you got to get the morning out, uh, movement. But she moved pretty nicely this morning. She gapped up. Not a great little uh, movement other than if you got in around 8 o'clock this morning at around 12.20, you know, she's up around 1240, but she's really strong. One thing I really is going to really uh, interest me is I want to see if she breaks through that resistance levels of 14. So that really is my, uh, that's what I want to see what's going on. Remember, Snapchat is not an old company. Uh, just went public not too long ago, but hasn't been really doing well. So I guess maybe, maybe they're turning a corner. Who knows? We'll check it out. But uh, we'll keep an eye on that Snapchat. Now, that, and, and that obviously is going to be on our watch list. Z-Y-N-E is another one that had a nice little move on Friday. Quick little pop right from uh, 780 all the way to about $9. You can see on the long-term chart here in April, it was almost a, a 550 stock up to 9. Hit major resistance levels back here in October and came right back down. So she's holding here. You know, see if she breaks it. Great iceberg orders over here on the matrix. So other than that, you know, Friday was Friday. <laughs> anyway. Let's get right into it because that is uh, oh, and then one more last one that was a nice move in the afternoon was the CV and almost M almost forgot about that one. That one was actually a pretty fun stock. Um, I'm going to throw that back on the watch list. I want to keep an eye on that one. Great volume, eighty four thousand already shares already traded. Had a great push going into the close. Nice little cheap little stock. Had a couple of shakes there and has and you can see it's got some nice orders out there on the level three. So we'll keep a close eye on that. All right, so um, what do we got going on this morning? Well, we got the new Bev. That obviously made a nice little early. She just completely backed off. I don't know what happened with that, but, you know, it's an early bird. Listen, take the money and run. I always say that. And uh, But 2.7 million shares are traded. Look at all those orders out there in the matrix. I mean, they're all over the place. Tons and tons of orders. Nice little stock. We'll keep an eye on that. GE, let's keep an eye on that one, too. GE's, a, you know, is a great stock. It was a great little swing trade. She's not really doing too well lately. She's got some nice support levels right around $9. See if she holds up there pretty strong. FRO is another one I'm going to put on the watch list. That one's gapped up pretty nice, but she's kind of flat. I don't know what's going on, but she kind of gapped up pretty nicely. 56,000 shares. 
not the greatest orders. I see a lot of blank spots out there. I'm not completely sold on that one. Snap, we already have on it. SCYX, which one's going to make up here on the list? This one, cheap little stock, up 14%, 160,000 shares. A lot of nice orders everywhere. You got a 11,000 share buyer at a buck 65. Kind of explains, uh, you know, that was <laughs> last uh, Friday's support levels. But the resistance levels, you got, you know, you see you got a 3,800 share seller out there at a buck 90 and so on. You could see it kind of tested there. Nice little cheap little stock, decent spread, you know, for all the ones here that are beginners might be right up your alley. Nugget. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this one on uh, my buddy Grant out there. Grant is our great gold trader. Grant must have something to do about this. So I know he's going to throw in his, uh, he's going to kind of like give his uh, critique us about what's going on. But Grant looks like you got a little nugget moving over there. So listen, you know I'm not a big ETF fan, but sometimes, listen, the market's not moving, whatever. We had some good movements. We'll keep an eye on it. But uh, that one's going to make our watch list right there. And the CBM. Like I said, that was a nice mover last week. It's going back on today. Listen, there's not a lot of great, great movers in, 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 in this morning in pre-market. I'll be the first one to admit it, but that is why, you know, Mondays are Mondays and Fridays are Fridays. I mean, I did a recording on Friday. I said the same thing. But remember, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays are the best day to trade. But you know what? You won't know that unless you're here all day. So listen, focus on the day's pay. Don't try to hit home runs. And you know what? It's all about being in the right place at the right time. That's what all that matters. All right. Um, one last thing. Um, I just uh, kind of read an article over the weekend regarding about, um, I guess, everybody's seeing what's happening with, with uh, the new Democratic uh, primaries and how they're doing uh, Medicare for War. They're really pushing that really hard. So let me tell you something, guys. We might have a great opportunity that, you know, if the, if the, if the Democratic Party actually – wins the primary, you know, they get, get a good primary and actually could beat President Trump. Um, we might have a great opportunity to have the greatest short in whole healthcare stocks. I was reading an article. They said that those stocks, they want to abolish all private insurances. That happens. It, you know, I was reading an article of that, and um, there was two other things that are going to crash the market, like huge. I mean, they literally would go out of business. So if that happens, just I'm telling you, we're going to have a great opportunity to short the market, and it could be a great home run. Now, you know, regardless of what your political beliefs, that's your situation. But listen, you know, you got to remember, these people have big power. And if it does come to fruition, you know, that could happen, you know. Um, it could be a great opportunity, just another way of trading the market. If it was the, you know, the financial crisis in 2000, you know, uh, you know, the, you know, uh, in, in 2008, if it was the, the internet bubble in 2000, you missed these opportunities, you might have it shorting, uh, on pattern. Yeah. I mean, listen, that, that's, you know, that you, you got, listen, you gotta be careful. And, you know, like I said, all oh, that never happened. Listen, anything could happen. Anything could happen. So I'm just, I'm just letting you, it was a really interesting market, uh, article I read and, um, you know, obviously nobody believes that's going to happen as of now, but. If you start seeing the, the poll numbers starting to change, you might see an influx of people. A lot of the, you know, I, I was just out this weekend and I was talking to fellow traders and, and you know, a lot of big mutual fund guys. Are like, Are you kidding me? If that ever happened, we're pulling all our money out of all the mutual funds and we're, we're selling all those markets. So, you know, listen, you want to go with the sinking ship, go right ahead, you know, but uh, you want to go short, it could be a great opportunity. So always keep an eye on that stuff. Okay. Look, listen and learn. Right, Grant? All right, guys, listen, good luck today. Happy trading. I'll put these stocks on the watch list. If anything else new comes out, we'll go out and share it. So we'll be going in silence right now, and we'll see you back at 2.30. Just don't get too cocky today, right? We got our earnings coming out next week, which I probably think you're going to get a lot more stuff going on right around that time. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.